Here is another application and thinking problem of test 1 on trigonometry of right triangles. Question 17. Anil Kumar observed the falcon 200 meter away just about to dive vertically down and hit a pigeon. If the angle of elevation for the two birds is 60 degrees and 45 degrees, determine the vertical distance between the birds. Now have a look at the sketch and correlate with the question. Normally you will not be given a sketch, you need to draw it, right? But here fortunately you have one. Now this is the position A of Anil Kumar was observed falcon which is 200 meters away. Angle of elevation is 60 degrees for the falcon and 45 degrees for the pigeon. Now the question is what is the distance between these two birds? So we need to find this distance. Let's say this distance is x, which we need to find. Okay? So that is the question. How are you going to do it? So you can stop the video now, do your solution, and then look into my suggestion. So this is how I'm going to approach the problem. So let's say the height of the falcon is h. Let's say this height is h, right? We are actually interested only in the difference, right? Let's observe. Let this be the height. And if you consider, let me call this point as O. Consider the big triangle AOF. AOF, right? The idea is to prepare you for a test, right? So I'm just telling you strategies, how to solve these kinds of problems, right? So AOF, big triangle. From here, we know hypotenuse and the angle and so we can find the base right so it is adjacent over hypotenuse cosine so we'll use cos of 60 degrees is equals to AO over 200 so from here we can find AO right that is the base so now we know the base AO is known to us correct now once AO is known to us, we can also find the total height, which for total height we could use sine of 60 degrees. Okay, let's use sine of 60 degrees. So we have sine 60 degrees is equals to total height H over 200, right? So we get our height, total height we get, right? But we still, we don't know this height. So to find that height, let's find the smaller height. Let's say Y. P and O, this distance. So that we can get by solving small triangle. So now let's consider the triangle APO, right? APO. Now in this triangle, 45 degrees is the angle A, right? PAO angle is 45 degrees. We know AO, right? And therefore we can find Y using tangent ratio. So we know tan of 45 degrees is equals to Y over AO, right? Since AO is known to us, we know what Y is. So once we know Y and H, we can find X. So what is X equals to? X equals to H minus Y. So that is how we are going to solve this problem. I hope you understand and appreciate the approach. Thank you and all the best.